So Stephen Bartholomew Crowder, I, <laughs> I don't know if that's his middle name. I just made that up. But we talked about him in a video about two, three weeks, a few weeks ago. And at that time, Candace Owens came forward and she was like, yeah, you know, Stephen Crowder going through a rough time right now. There's a bit of right-wing infighting going on at the moment, which is highly amusing to watch. But anyway, she made these hints towards him going through a rough time. And then this clip surfaced, which apparently is a few years old. And I don't understand how we've never seen it before. But yeah, then this happened. Back. I'm afraid of Mr. Hyde rearing his ugly bisexual head that was a sm that was a short phase um no I'm, I'm afraid he's afraid of mr hyde coming back wearing his ugly bisexual head that was a short face it's just a sh short face okay so at the time candace owns stuff and her and him saying this i was like maybe he's just gay maybe man the man is just gay and that i guess that's still a possibility okay i'm not saying stephen crowder is not gay he might just be gay but anyway he disappeared for a while and now He's back. And it is now explained why Candace Owens made these allegations. Apparently, lots of people behind the scenes knew about this and didn't want to reveal it for obvious reasons. But now, Stephen Jeremiah Crowder <laughs> had the following to say in a clip that he released yesterday. Uh, I have been living with a proverbial boot on my neck for going on years now. Uh, since 2021, I've been living through what has increasingly been a horrendous divorce. Now, let me say on the outset, to be clear, there is no infidelity, any kind of physical abuse at all on either side. And no, this was not uh, my choice. My then wife decided that she didn't want to be married anymore. And in the state of Texas, that is completely permitted. <laughs> it's been the most heartbreaking. Amazing. He's like, in the state of Texas, that is allowed that she divorces me. She should not be allowed to do that. <laughs> you know, it's it's really implied in what he's saying. Obviously, he's not saying that. And, you know, this is just me interpreting what he's saying. But it, it like so obviously sounds like he does not agree with this idea that his wife is allowed to make a decision like that to divorce him. Okay, to potentially limit the amount of time that he can spend with his children. This is not right, no matter what I do. Okay, there's, and we'll get to that. Okay, we'll get a window in a minute of why, probably amongst other reasons, uh, this woman wanted to divorce this man. Heartbreaking experience in my life, what I consider to be my deepest personal failure. And just so you know, my opinions on parenting and families have not changed. Um, I've always believed that Children need a mom and a dad, that divorce is horrible. And I still believe that children need a mom and a dad and that divorce is horrible. But in today's legal system, my beliefs don't matter. In Texas, divorce... Oh, Lord. Like, how can you make something like this that really should be about your children, you know, and, and about the family itself and what, basically what you're doing to your children with this. But for him... It's like, how can I make it about myself? It has to be about myself. In today's legal system, my beliefs don't even matter anymore. Do I even matter? Am I even important enough? My wife is allowed to divorce me. Our legal system is not on my side. You know, this is just BS. The whole th it's so unfair, you know. He he's, again, like, this is so revealing about the egocentric perspective on life that a person like that has. They claim to be all ethically superior, right? And it's all about the values of family and love thy neighbor and, you know, the Christian values. And then behind the scenes, man, when you see the masks falling, yeah. In Texas, divorce is permitted when one party wants it, period. So for well over a year, uh, well over a year, in the best interest as well as physical safety of my children, we've decided to keep this issue private and to resolve it uh, privately with the appropriate attorneys, what have you, legal jargon. So anyway, he keeps going on, okay? He, he, oh my God, it's the fire brigade outside. Can you see blue light in my face? No, you can't, right? So he keeps rambling on, but at this point I was like, you know, I, look, he, the guy gets divorced. Why would I make a video about it? What hasn't been said that I could say about this whole story? But now, today, we're reaching another level. Holy moly. So apparently, and this is just what I heard, okay, uh, his wife, his now ex-wife, presumably, has been claiming that she has been abused by him, okay? 
I'm, I'm not sure if like, like verbally or physically or psychologically or what exactly the form of abuse was. I have no idea. But she revealed this video that was recorded from like a CCTV camera that they had around the house. And I don't think uh, in that moment either of them were probably aware that this had been recorded. But anyway, she later on took this footage and now it's public and it shows her in a conversation with Steven Crowder, her husband at the time, while she was eight months pregnant. And now let me add a little disclaimer to this. The video you're about to watch came out a few days, I think four days after the, the famous Steven Crowder and Sam Cedar incident happened on A3 podcast, right? If you're not familiar with it, then, then Google Steven Crowder and Sam Cedar. Basically, they got connected. It was mega cringe for Steven Crowder. And it, it was one of the most embarrassing moments in his career, probably, because there was Sam Cedar and they always like, well, we want to debate these guys, but they never and then suddenly now they are together, right? Sam Cedar meets Steven Crowder and then he chickened out and he was like, oh, what a nightmare. Oh, I'm, I have to hang up. And he literally didn't want to debate because he knows he's preaching BS. Okay, that's so he, he's fully aware of that. But anyway, keep in mind, this scene is four days after that hit him. Okay, after this happened to Steven Crowder and obviously it's scratched on his ego as well. So we're going to watch this in full length. It is two minutes. Let's go. Gradual boundary. I drew a boundary. No, no, you just did, you just did it. I drew a boundary and abuse is cruel. Uh, I said that his wife was eight months pregnant at the time, right? I said this. Did I? I hope I said Now I said it anyway. You were not taking the car. Because if you refuse to do wifely things, then I will go pick up the groceries. American groceries. I would have steaks. Wood pellets. My notice, notice, it's a little bit hard to see. But how he's sitting on this couch with a cigar, you know, like, excuse my French, but like the most misogynistic, arrogant, f***ing yuppie cut you can imagine, okay? Not saying that's what he is, but that's how this looks to me. If I would see that on a freaking cover of some magazine, I'd think to myself, what a freaking yuppie cut. Just his whole posture, you know, his wife, and apparently, like, he's sending her to get groceries, right? She's like eight months pregnant, which you can clearly see. I grew up. I know it's not a reasonable request, but I'll go do it. How about you first? Hillary, how do you respect the man? Yes. How, do you know? how do you respect the man, Hillary? Huh? Can you respect the man, please? No, no. How do you respect the man? No, you're not taking the car. You're not taking the car. You are not taking the car. Then I will ask them to pick me up. Would you like me to ask? Oh, that's right. Is that a threat, Was that a threat? Huh? Is that a threat? My eight month pregnant wife? Uh, are you threatening me, huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. I don't know, man. Even like a hardcore, disturbed, conservative individual like Steven Crowder must have enough sense to know that that's not right. Right? Like you, you just, you just don't do that. And it makes me wonder, and again, this, this is just me speculating, right, whether other stuff is involved. Again, we know the Sam Cedar thing happened a few days prior to this, so he's he might possibly theoretically still be on edge because of that. Doesn't justify the behavior here, I'm just, you know, it kind of explains it a little bit at least. But I don't know if there might be some other stuff involved. That's all I'm going to say. I don't know. But it's not normal to treat your wife that is eight months pregnant and expects your child like this. Not even speaking about him putting all those Christian ethical values of family on his flag, okay? That's a whole different ball game that we're not even getting into right now. Okay, Stephen, I can't. Do, feeling some constraints? Stephen. Like, I can't Steven. go. I, listen to me, listen to me. You wanna walk out right now? Listen to me, I can't go to the gym. I can't go to my parents. I can't call my friends. I can't go. I can't be home. You're going to take the car and leave me here. Hillary, just think of how boxed in you've made me. What do you need me to pick up? I'll get it. Just think how boxed in you're making me, pregnant wife. <laughs> you know, I can't even go to the gym. Can't even see my friends. I mean, you know what's important here. How do you respect the man, huh? It is, it's disturbing, honestly. It's freaking disturbing footage. I'll be back when I'm back. No, that doesn't work either. You'll be back when you're back. That doesn't work either. See, I, I, Do you understand the difference between my life being set to the second and you're going to be back when I'm back? Student. The only way out of it is discipline or respect. 
Oh answer. my god, oh my god, the hypocrisy. The only way out of this is discipline and respect. Sits there. Ah, uh, it's freaking disgusting, man. It is disgusting. We're at an impact. We are going to get past. Good. Because you can't have any discipline. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. You throw your hand. You give up so easily. I don't give up so easily. You, know, you give up so easily. I, I, I just said the only way out of this is discipline and respect. You said, then we're at an impact. Steven, no, we are at an impact. Okay? I love you, but Steven, Steven, your abuse is sick. Stephen, your abuse is sick, okay, is what she just said to him, straight to his face, okay, because it is, you know, and he doesn't notice it at all, like he's so oblivious, yeah, anyway. Watch it, watch it, watch it, fucking watch it. You watch your mouth. So I think there's a little bit more to this clip where they then get up and he gets even more aggressive and they kind of go towards the inside of the room and then the, at least the other clip that I saw ends. So there are also these rumors that I saw then floating around where people are like, it, it actually got physical after that. I don't know if that's true. That's all just allegedly. This is just stuff that I've seen on the internet. But it is pretty clear that this is unacceptable abusive behavior not just to a pregnant woman, to any person. You know, you don't need to be a woman. Like, you just, like that, you don't speak to a person like that. It is extremely disrespectful, but it doesn't really come as a surprise, right? Maybe a little bit, right? Because you always have this doubt with these right-wing propaganda machine people like Steven Crowder that behind closed doors, they're different people, right? And they do understand, you know, the, the actual value of respect and so on, contrary to what they preach on their shows. But then you have stuff like this come out where you see, no, Steven Crowder is actually a quite, oh, it seems like at least in this particular scene, like comes across as like a really disturbed individual. And again, it doesn't mean that not everyone has a bad day sometimes and everyone sometimes says stuff that is a little bit out of line. Okay, I'm not excluding myself from that. But this obviously goes beyond that. And it is within the right wing sphere, a repetitive pattern. Not long ago, I made a video giving various examples of very similar right wing hypocrisy, right? Where they say one thing, you know, anti-gay this thing, and they get caught in a gay club being gay. And there are so many, there are literally countless examples like that where you're like, bro, you're preaching one thing and behind closed doors, you're doing the opposite. And it's just messed up. Let's be honest, okay? This stuff is just messed up, and quite rightly so. The internet is imploding with it at the moment, right? We have no shortage of memes, Stephen Crowder memes, okay? I would have forced my ex-wife to stay married if it was legal. It's like the law was just wasn't on my side, okay? It's kind of unfair, let's be honest here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. My wife left me, change her mind. Hillary, you're not taking the car, change my mind. And a lot of people rightly say, like, it's like, this dude surely can afford, like, a second car. What is going on there? Why? I mean, what's the story behind the second car? We need to know. We need to investigate. <laughs> Claims to support traditional family values. Doesn't have a family anymore. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> How do you respect the man? Hillary, huh? Huh? How do you respect the man? It is really so dystopian. It's straight out of like a Handmaid's Tale, right? I don't know if you watched that. If you haven't watched that, then you can watch that. That gives you an idea of like this crystal fascist vision of America. It's obviously a little bit over the top here and there, but it gets into the right direction. Anyway, guys, I just want to share all this with you. The story is probably not over yet. Candace Owens is already striking back hard, okay? Because Steven Crowder mentioned her in, in his video and they're doing the whole right-wing infighting thing, which is fun to watch. So there might be more coming. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I would appreciate to hear them. You can also share them with our Discord community. Yes, we have a Discord community. It is free to join. The link is in the description. You click it, you end up on the Discord server. You can hang out there, meet nice people. It's a good community, talk about all kinds of things. You can also subscribe and smash the like button as you're moving to the next video. I see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves and I'm out. Bye.